racers. <laughs> Do you remember? I remember I was in the first grade, and um, we had a drugstore in town that uh, I would walk by sometimes on my way to and from school, and I liked to go in there, and I was a weird, nerdy little kid, and I liked to buy office supplies, <laughs> like pens. And I found one day this huge eraser. I mean, it was like the size of a pack of cigarettes, okay? It was big. And I was so excited about that, so I bought it with whatever change I had and uh, took it to school because I was so excited about being able to use my eraser. And so you suppose what happened when I tried to erase something on the page with that big, heavy eraser? Well, it tore the page up, <laughs> and it ruined it, okay? Uh, so not all things that we try to use to erase things out of our lives work very well. Think about some things that maybe you've tried to, to erase the pain in your life with that haven't worked very well. They've ended up destroying more than they got rid of. They got rid of the good stuff along with the bad stuff, right? And maybe not brought more bad stuff. But God provides the perfect erase. Right? Amen. And every day we're given a fresh, clean page to start with. Through Christ. That's what this time in our service is about. So let me invite you to bow for just a moment of personal prayer of confession, and then we shall join together in prayer. <laughs> Let us pray together. God of mercies, and humble King of love, we confess our sins to you, knowing that you see our need much better than we do. Please forgive not only the sins we recognize, but also the many to which the culture in which we live may have blinded us. Uncover any private deception. Rebuke our compliance with community evil, and bring us again into the blessed condition of grace. Through Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen. Family of God, it is not your fate to carry burdens of guilt or to be obsessed with painstaking yet vain self-justification. There is no one who pardons more completely than our God, and no Savior whose peace is sweeter than that of our Christ. <clears throat> Receive into your heart and mind the rejuvenating life of the Holy Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. So today, um, we welcome Brittany Steyer here. Steer. Steerit. Steerit. I should know that because I've known her since she was a little, <laughs> little young girl. Uh, Brittany is the granddaughter of Kay, uh, our, our pianist, and um, it's, it's always just wonderful to watch young people grow up and to see them use their lives for the glory of God and their talents. And so, Brittany, we just welcome you today. Yeah. Or to what you have to share with us. 